शिक्षा द्वितीय ब्रह्मचारी में तृतीय चंद्रगण देती कुशवान देती चतुर्थकम पंचम स्कांदमा देती षष्ठम गजयन की चा सप्तम कालरात देती महागुरी दी चम नवम सिद्धिदात्रीजा नवदुर्गा प्रकृतिता उक्तान्य तरिनामानी परमानवा महात्मना Hi, good start of a new week. <laughs> It's Himalaya here. Welcome to the Embody Freedom series. Woo! How was your weekend? How are you? What is happening in your world, in our worlds, all of our worlds that are shifted right now? So we are here to bring you some lift up. Some perk up, some inspiration. Uh, the intention for this particular series is to invite you into learning about maybe ancient. Some of the some of the practices are very much from ancient cultures and traditions uh, for this modern day insanity. So this is what the Embody Freedom series is all about. Uh, so join myself and guest transformational facilitators and artists and uh, co-creators of the universe that are here to. Guide you on how to overcome any modern day insanity, and that includes fear, stress, anxiety, all of the things that could help us to that actually that could uh, cause us to spiral downward. The series is designed to ground us in a whole new level of leadership as fear, stress, anxiety, like I said, it could throw us off our center. So we're here to come into our highest connected self. So let's thrive right now. It is time to shift and let's thrive right now by reclaiming and sustaining our joy and our pleasure through movement, sound vibrations, meditation, all of the th things that we bring here. And I've got somebody so exciting that I get to share with you today. Uh, she's definitely supported um, great fitness and posture alignment and all sorts of incredible breath work and things like that. So she's going to be on with us today. Her name is Adrienne. I'll be able to um, introduce you to her with her proper bio and everything very soon. But just wanted to put a little plug on that's who's coming up today. Here's the thing. The time is now to pivot. So, you know, we could get really stuck in like in the vortex right now of we don't know what's going to happen. We could be in the uncertainty. My invitation is our invitation here at the Casa, Creative Casa, now the Creative Casa Studios, is to unwind that which is in the like It's like peeling, you know, peeling an apple or peeling something. Take off the layers that are constricting you from breathing. And so here is the invitation for this particular show. It's not just a show that you watch. This is a invitation for you to be in the game with us, in the experience. So, hello. Who's out there? Where are you watching from? We are going live right now on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube. Yeah, so our invitation is to, if you find something right now as you're experiencing our show, our series, share, share it with others, comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel. It supports us in bringing in more and more uh, content and uh, yeah, and offering what we offer. So where are you located? We want to hear from you and we're going to invite you into movement right away. Good morning, Doe. Good morning. Let's round the shoulders. Let's move the head from side to side. We got Portland, Oregon in the house. We got San Diego in the house. We got Oceanside in the house. We got Encinitas in the house. Woo! All right, let's bounce the shoulders now. And whoo, yeah. I think Mondays are tough regardless, right? <laughs> It's always an adjustment. And I'm really feeling these days that I've got this beautiful weekend, which I've never had a weekend before. You know what I'm saying? Like being an entrepreneur and being traveling, you know, traveling for work to festivals and conferences and all of that. I've always pretty much for the last 20 years, weekends were the same as a weekday, but not right now. So let's take our arms around. Breathing here, swaying the body from side to side. We're opening up the pathway. So this is the invitation 
to feel what it feels like to be in your body. That's the invitation. So to be in your body, you get to move your body. You get to bring in breath. As you walk from side to side, breathe here. Open up the arms as you walk from side to side. Mmm, make some sounds, some yummy sounds. Breathe. Mmm. Start to say yes with your head, with your heart as you move here. Start to get your pelvis and your hips in the game with you. Woo, unwind any pockets. Ooh, I've been doing a lot of walking and hiking, so my hips, yeah, they get to have a little twirl and opening, flubber the lips here, so essentially what we're really doing when we come into our bodies is we are returning home to our true self, back to center here, and sometimes coming home to our true self, the pathway there. It's just like being a little kid. So get the pitter-patter up on the heels, or the heels are up on the balls of the feet. Pitter-patter around your space. You can even fly, snap your fingers as you fly, breathe. Woo! Don't just watch, get the game, breathe. Roll the shoulders around, let your tongue dance. Fly again, snap the fingers whatever holds you back whatever resistances you have you can move through you can move through by breaking through right now breaking out of walk it out side to side breaking out of any constrictions any stagnation any contractions in the body so we utilize the body which is your temple to return home to who you truly are so it is that same as a temple where you would go and you would touch the feet of the divine it's what we do in india many temples in india we are touching the feet of the divine in order to have a little blessing perhaps some nectar of some sort it's the same thing with your own body Ooh, walk it out Ooh, let your pelvis open up here Mm, snap it out, wings out, elbows out. Woo, make a sound. Deep breath in. Keep snapping. Woo. So practice this for a moment here. Wherever you are, just have a big smile. Like, like even if it's if it like if the rest of your face is not on board yet, like, like a Bollywood actress of some sort right or a bollywood or like whatever melodrama film you can think of <laughs> do that take a deep breath in <gasps> like you just won something and exercise your face <sighs> and let go love those lips and do one more of those this time like you really won the lottery and really you know what you did right now you won the lottery right now so take a deep breath in one two three <gasps> So when we do that, my teacher taught me this, it's when we do that, we send that message to every single cell in our bodies, right? So take a deep breath in. Do you even notice like how much easier it is naturally to smile right now? Like it's just there. So this is the exercises. <gasps> take that breath in and big, big smile and send it to every single cell in your body because there are those cells that are dying off or that are resistant, that are holding, that are contracted, that are not on board with you. And you get to be the one to say, all right, we're telling you who's on board. You who are in highest alignment, you who are like a yes to moving forward, a yes to your leadership. Okay, so close your eyes for a moment here. Diggle your shoulders. <sighs> Round the shoulders now. So we utilize these funky, weird, bouncy, childlike, playful movements to come on home. And we also use slow, sensual. <sighs> pleasure-filled movements as well. 
crown the shoulders as you move your head from side to side eyes are closed breathe here super exciting today we are beginning a five week uh, series that is just for women that is um, a private group that I hold called the Embody Sisterhood group here on Facebook or if you're not on Facebook come on over round the shoulders forward keep your head moving side to side we are starting a Monday at noon PST Pacific Coast time gathering a sisterhood gathering where we are coming together to shift to shift as a collective as an individual as a divine feminine awakening and bounce it out here in the center eyes are still closed ah, 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 ah. stretch out your mouth ah, ah, ah. and then come into a stillness that's filled with movement your breath movement your energetic body alive and awake breathe here let the tongue dance mm, a little internal arm. so can you take a deep breath in even if you've got the sniffles, even if you've got allergies going on, if you've got a cold or any respiratory issue, you can still manage. You can take the breath through your mouth if you need to. But bring in so much fresh oxygen and energy, healing energy to your being, and exhale. Ah, let go, deflate, and extract what you no longer need. All the lessons so far that have served us thus far, we don't need to continue to carry and replay out, replay out over and over and over again. We get to say, check mark, complete, thank you very much. Got it, got the lesson. Now moving forward, I take responsibility. I own that I created that in order to, in order to learn that thing, in order to evolve, into the next layers of consciousness and take a deep breath in. Ah, you hear a lot of talk about family as values. you are ready, you can slowly open your eyes and check in with yourself. So we just checked in with our eyes closed. Good morning, Chantal. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Woo! So stretch it out like you just woke up. And maybe you did just wake up. <laughs> Woo! I want to hear what is up for you this week. So it seems like every week we've had different themes going on. You know, uh, we've had like creativity surging, and then we've had total cocooning, and then we've had grief. And, you know, real, like, struggle with emotions. Uh, I mean, honestly, struggle with emotions, I don't even like saying that because emotions are great. Uh, you know, emotions are great. We have an emotional body, and it is meant to move the emotions. So, I want to hear. Chantel, oh, that's sweet. How are you? Uh, Chantel is asking. I am, let's see. Thanks for asking. I'm going to scan my experience right now. I'm inspired. I am feeling balanced. I feel refreshed and rejuvenated from this weekend. I really got to unplug a lot. And um, yeah, thanks for asking. So sweet. How are you? <laughs> okay. Awesome. Josie, hello. Oh, that's beautiful. Come and join us, Josie. Come and join us. We're going to be uh, live today together in a private group um, on a Zoom, actually. But first, you get to be in the private group, which is Embody Sisterhood. So, yeah, Embody Sisterhood with Himalaya. That's how you find it on Facebook. Oh, yeah. 
you know, one of one of my things, one of my things that's been coming up strongly right now is purposeful, filled women, purpose filled women, like really being on purpose, no matter what, you know, like we could be knocked over by this, or we could definitely be reignited by this into what we know we are here to serve with. And so I, I've been really talking to and connecting with and gathering women who are up for the rise that is happening right now. So I call it embody leadership, mm -hmm. embodying your leadership, whether that means being the most magnificent mother or conscious entrepreneur, I call them spiritual preneurs, being on, on board for that rise that's happening within you. So invitation is to come on and hang out with us uh, and be a part of the shift. I promise you a good time. <laughs> but truly, I promise you like a, a, a good time. This is our Embody Sister Circle. We're going to be doing this weekly on Mondays only for a few Mondays. So grab the opportunity to be live with us. And I will tell you, we, we, uh, we had one on Friday and it was beautiful, like really beautiful even more than I ever imagined. So I'm stoked to be in that with you. So it is, uh, yeah, you first you'll uh, come into Embody Sisterhood group with, um, you'll put my name, I think, you could probably find it by Embody Sisterhood. Um, it is right there on the screen, Embody Sisterhood with Himalaya. And um, yeah, and the thing that I've been, one of the things I've been speaking into is the Embody Leadership Mastermind. This is truly for those of you who are called to take your life right now to the next level. This is the most, I mean, this is a perfect time to be in the creation and the building of your foundation of your spiritual, spiritual entrepreneurship, spiritual entrepreneurship. Nice. I ro it rolled this time. <laughs> okay. Anyways, take a deep breath in. Again, this is for us. This series is for you to be in the experience of shifting. And we've got a beautiful sister that is coming on to uh, be with us, Adrienne Rivera. Uh, and she is here, a local sister that we've been in uh, connection with. She's an online fitness coach, founder of Breath of Gold. Uh, she's a podcast host, and she's the best-selling author of Fit Through Love, a book called Fit Through Love. She's unlike any other fitness coach in the industry because she helps her clients with their relationship with food, fitness, and others in their lives. So relationships. Isn't that cool? Her vision is to help others like you create an abundance of love in their lives through self-love and loving relationships. She has a holistic approach in that she combines tools such as an online personal trainer, uh, breathwork, mindset calls to truly transform not only healthy bodies, but healthy minds. She specializes in working with spiritual entrepreneurs. Hey! Hey! <laughs> and leaders to bring them into their best health so that it turns into wealth. And that's obviously what we have in common. I'm like reading her bio, obviously. And I didn't see that part. So that's so cool. Um, and I'm super excited to bring her on. I've had a personal coaching session with this divine goddess beauty. Uh, and so we get to be in presence with Adrian. Come on on. Hi. Can you hear us? Are you good? Yeah. Can you see me? I can. We can see you. Oh, it's, hey. a little, it's a little pixelated. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's a little fuzzy on my end, but yeah, yeah I can so, see you. Well, yeah. It wasn't like that earlier when we did our test, but here you are. So everyone, <laughs> you get to like clear the clouds, the virtual clouds in order to see our beautiful Adrian. <laughs> we can see you anyway, regardless. <laughs> we can spiritually see you. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah. So you have been, I mean, you work with a lot of people in person normally, right? Like you've got personal training and then you've got your, you've got an app. So I want to, I want, yeah. Will you tell us more about your work? Yeah. 
Definitely. So um, I don't do any in person anymore. I do in person group fitness classes, um, but everything that I do now is remote. And the reason now is because I felt like doing in person personal training was trading money for time and uh, really want to get people a lasting result. And I found that with one on one sessions, you could only get so much of like the form stuff, which is important, but that you need so much more with mindset and your relationship with food. And so um, my program really embodies uh, mindset work, you know, in the marriage of fitness and how to use fitness as a tool, along with breath work, along with uh, mindset coaching calls to really get you to transform rather than just look good. Because um, when I was uh, swimming full time, you know, back in the oh, I was, you know, super can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. Yeah, there was just okay. like a little glitch. Okay, well, hold on. We're going to take you off for okay. a second and then we'll bring you back on. Okay, let's see if this works. You know, little tech issues here and there, but we want we want to make sure that we can hear our our divine sister here. So, can I bring her back on? Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. It's just gonna take a moment. I think we're gonna have her uh, log in, log out. But oh, there we go. Oh, that's so much Hi. better. Yay! I think that's better. I think that's better. Yeah. Great. 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 So one of the things you were saying is like about the mindset and the holisticness of the fitness program. I love that because truly, if I've, I've noticed it with myself, my clients, if we don't have the mindset tools, then we're just flailing, going for, and, and able to fall out. So I'd love to have uh, you share about when someone makes a goal uh, for their specific like say they wanted to go out every single morning and they were like, you know what? I'm going to go out 6 a.m. and I'm going to go for a run. Like that's the way I'm going to wake up and I'm going to do it. How do you get to the gap of like actually doing it? You know, because there's like making the goal, they're saying it, and then there's there's the sleeping in. <laughs> right, exactly. I love it. Oh my gosh. There's two sides of this that I'm so excited to share. I'm so glad you asked this question. So the first side of it is actually the science of habit change. Like you need to actually have accountability and remember a lot of the times we just forget because we snooze one day and then the next day we forget because we didn't do it the day before. So we've all heard it takes 21 days to, you know, change a habit. And with that, you know, having someone to check in with us and say, Hey, did you run today? Did you run today? And then also having that reason why like why it's even your goal because after you know day 10 you may be like well i'm getting kind of sore maybe i don't need to do this every day maybe this isn't my goal why am i even running in the first place so you really have to get connected to what it is that you're doing and why you're doing it i found that training for races really helps that way you know why you're running for example i did the carlsbad marathon it's like okay i know why i'm running today and that was so helpful. But one other thing that I wanted to touch on that you said um, was, how do we not snooze our alarm? And the answer is ultimately getting to self-love. But how do we get to self-love? First, it's the self-worth, which is saying, I am worthy of this lifestyle change. I am worthy of the body of my dreams. And then comes the self-trust, which is actually not cheating on yourself, right? Like you wouldn't want to cheat on someone that you're in relationship with, but snoozing on your, you know, if you see yourself in relationship with yourself and how you're treating yourself, you know, is that how you want to be treated by others? And once you have self-worth and self-trust, you're showing up for yourself, then that's the ultimate self-love. I love that. So first of all, I'm hearing um, accountability and yes. then the why, like really getting in touch with the why. And then the third piece is self-love. So, and like, that means having a relationship with yourself, like having that, okay, I'm not going to cheat on myself. Or I'm not going to cheat on that person. I'm choosing to be in relationship yeah. and show up in accountability. Ooh, that's good. And <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting something else from what you're sharing. The mindset. So I never got this, but for some reason I'm getting it right now. It's setting your mind up to win versus the mind is always going to try to take you out of the game. Unfortunately, it's just sort of set up like that. 
<laughs> do you have anything else to say about around that mindset? I love what you just said. I never thought about it that way of just mind and set and how you set your mind into that. That's beautiful. Um, yeah, you know, our mind is really powerful and we often feel like we're controlled by our mind and our habits and our subconscious mind are going to teach us how to show up in the world. So whenever we try to shift mindset, uh, one thing that works really well for me as well as my clients is daily journaling. So daily journaling, because if you make a goal of journaling three pages a day, you can't not like you can't avoid talking about health and fitness. It's like, oh, what am I going to eat today? What am I going to do today? Like, right, right. you can't forget that fitness is a, an important goal for you. And uh, especially if you do it right after that. A lot of times, um, if I'm not feeling up for it, I'll write it in my journal. Like, hmm, for some reason today, I kind of feel like delaying my run. Why is that? And then I inquire and I do some digging. And then I say, well, what if you just go? Okay, fine, I'll go. I'm like, wow, that wasn't that hard. <laughs> <laughs> So you basically have a conversation with yourself. And I, I love this. I've done a lot of journaling in my life and it works. You're right. I've been out of the practice for a little while, but yeah, I love that. So really having this conversation with yourself, well, what is it that I don't want to do it? Well, I mean, here, what happens with our female bodies, right? We're going through changes like every two days we're shifting. So hormonally, I mean, I definitely have the, sometimes I'm like, I mean, I'm PMSing. I don't really want to. I don't want to go for that hike. What do you What do you say to your clients when they're when they're up? They've scheduled a workout that is like it's important. It's in the books. It's you know whatever. And then they're like, oh, I don't know. I'm getting my period or whatever. I don't know. What would you say? That's a great question, and it really depends. It depends on the person and like the relationship that I have with them as a client and like what I've seen their patterns to be in the past. So if they like are really always trying to make up every excuse in the book, like, oh, my period, oh, this hurts, oh, I'm tired today, <laughs> you know? Then I'll be like, okay, you know, you said this is important to you. And then it re-enroll them into their why. Some people need to be re-enrolled by like weekly, you know? Yeah. But for other people, self-love may come as taking a rest day on a day that wasn't planned. So let's say Thursday, you're really not feeling good and you have your rest days planned for Saturday, Sunday, maybe Thursday's your rest day and then you do your workout on the weekend. So it's allowing yourself to honor your body and not have to push. You should never feel like you're fighting your body. You should feel like you're flowing with it. Um, but you gotta get your mind on track to actually see like, why is it that, is it just that I don't feel like it? Because we all, always we don't feel like yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. and then we have the endorphins we're like okay that was good yeah it's the why afterwards for sure <laughs> yes uh check it out <laughs> look at that that's so hot look at that i've never seen barbells like that before or whatever you would yeah. call those things it's called a trap bar or a hex bar yeah oh, wow so that good. is so cool beautiful <laughs> oh my gosh so you have something that you want to share with us. Um, we, you know, we've been asking like, what's one thing that would support you in embodying freedom? And especially right now, what would you say? I mean, you, if you have a series of things, just let us know. I want to, I want to experience what you got for us, girl. Mm, one thing to really practice embodying, I would say is checking in with yourself and really asking yourself, what is it that I need and not thinking that you have to do it all on your own. So really ask yourself, where do I get to have support? Whether it's from a coach, whether it's from a program, whether it's from a sisterhood group, whether it's from going to church, whether it's from anything in life, just knowing that you don't have to do it on your, your own is huge and uh, giving yourself permission to show up as yourself. And uh, just showing up that way weeds off anyone who perhaps is judgmental of you on that journey. Um, mm -hmm. I am doing, I'm doing and leading my fourth artist way group. I know I talked to you. About I artist love way. the artist way. Oh my God. I swear to God. It's so funny that you said the word church because it is literally been my Bible. Like 20 years ago, I yeah. started it and I would do it every single year at the beginning of the year for five years in a row. And then I just kept up with the morning pages and all that for a long time. Okay. okay. I love it. I love it. 
Will you yes. tell will tell everybody what the artist way okay. is? Okay, so the artist way is a twelve week course. Um, it's a spiritual path to higher creativity. And so the first time I was introduced to the book, I was so excited that someone thought that I was artistic. They're like, "Oh wow, like you would be great at this book." I'm like, "Wait, I thought I was just this fitness freak <laughs> in your <laughs> mind, right?" And I realized that we're all creative beings. It helped me a ton in my business. It helped me a ton in my relationship, getting connected to myself. And uh, the beauty about doing that inner work through a guided course, especially doing it in a group. Each time I lead it, I also am doing it myself. This time in particular, I've found that I'm attracting in friends that allow me to be the fullest authentic self with dancing as well as singing, which is something that I used to love to do, but I haven't done in 10 years until last night I manifested this opportunity to uh, sing and be a part of a you know little like jam session. And it was amazing. So just allowing me to see what you need. Yes, this is the book, The Artist Way, Julia Cameron. She's yes. so, yep, a spiritual path to higher creativity. Yeah. Highly recommend it. She, she's amazing too. Like truly like pick up the book, you know, check in with Adrian too. She, since she's just, did you just start it already? Or um, you're starting it soon? I'm another one. I just lead them back to back. <laughs> okay, great, great. Yeah, so definitely if you're interested. <laughs> it's really powerful to go in through with the group. I've done it on my own numerous times and I've done it in a group a couple times too. And it's powerful to go in because you got way more uh, accountability. You've got That's someone great. guiding you. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. So powerful. Cool. Oh, well, I would love for you to share. Um, oh, this is awesome. Thank you. Um, this is Adrian Rivera's um, website. That? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, check it out and um, fitthroughlove.com. And she's going to lead us through a few things right now that will support our bodies at this time that you can do right in your home since all of us are in our homes. <laughs> will you tell us what you're going to, what you're going to be leading us through and why? Yes, so I'm going to be leading you guys through a series of postural exercises. Um, I know a lot of us have been going from Zoom call to Zoom call to Zoom call, so that means we're slowly creeping forward. And we need to work on our posture, right? Because even if we run, if we are like this all day, we'll start running like this all day. And a lot of runners, if you've ever seen them, it's like, huh, they haven't worked on their posture. Like you can kind of tell, and it puts a lot of strain on the neck. And so there's something called upper cross syndrome. It's kind of like an X where from the side, it's like, you're rounded here, your head is forward, and your back is lengthened. So your upper back muscles, your traps, your rhomboids, um, they start to get lengthened and they need to be tightened and brought back, as well as these muscles need to be stretched. So we'll take you through some stretching to get these open so that you can create space to then strengthen and get your posture aligned. And then um, also work on some neck things that you can do just to take a little break from your computer and uh, work on your posture because posture is sexy and it feels really good. And fun fact, is for every inch your head is forward, it adds an extra 10 pounds or the weight of a bowling ball to your neck. So like you can just practice right now, like put your head really far forward and doesn't that hurt? Like you can tell oh, it's yeah. like so heavy. Definitely. Yeah, it's horrible. Ooh, yeah. Right? But put your ears in line with your shoulders, then it's like your head is resting on your spine like it's supposed to and you can be more present. Like I know for me, it takes away from my presence with others if I'm like, oh, I've got this neck pain. Oh, yeah. um, I've got a therapist friend and uh, was talking to them about, um, you know, kind of this and what I was going to share. I'm like, what, are there any exercises that you would recommend? And uh, one of the things that he said was um, that most people come into his office for like, you know, oh, I've got neck pain, but they never think it's their posture first. Right. Yep. Oh, this is great. This is going to be so helpful because we can't go to the, not all of us can get to a chiropractor right now or, right. you know, so this is super helpful. And honestly, I've had a lot of neck pain too right now. So I'm stoked about, uh, you know, this is one of the reasons I was like, yes, Adrian, I want her on the show because the few things that she showed me in our session that we had, it was so powerful and I still use to this day. So I was like, let's, let's share this with everyone. So you have five to 10 minutes. Lead us, girl. All right. Yay. Okay. Yay. Perfect. So we will start with something that you can do either with your hands or a towel. I'll show you what it would look like with a towel. So you can place it behind your head and neck and just tuck your chin and press back. 
tuck your chin, press back. And if you don't have a towel, just interlace your hands behind your back. I'll show you from the side. You can just press and resist. So it's like my hands are trying to pull forward and my chin is tucked and my head is back. And these are strengthening the muscles that bring your neck back in line with your spine. So always do it from a tucked chin position. You never wanna crank your neck um, with your neck in a too much of a cervical, uh, cervical spine curve. So press back, see if you can exhale, exhale, exhale through your mouth and hold for about 10 seconds. And then inhale, reset, tuck your chin, exhale, press, press, press. And then reset. We'll do three more like this, big inhale through your nose. And exhale, so you press, press, press. Resist, your head is pressing back, your arms are pressing forward. See if you can feel all those muscles in the back of the spine and the back of the upper neck lighting up from this. Feels so good, amazing. You can take some neck rolls side to side if that feels good. Gentle assist with the hands, feeling these muscles lengthen. A lot of the times when our head is forward, these muscles in the front of the neck can get short. And knowing that if you're ever using your hand in this kind of way, just nice and gentle. We're not trying to yank on the neck. We're just creating some space. Beautiful. And from here, you can bring your arms nice and wide and imagine you're trying to kiss your shoulders behind your back. So elbows are almost trying to touch. You can reach up and then squeeze down and back. And while you're doing this, notice if your ribs are popping out, kind of like this, and see if you can pull them in using your core. And then also notice if your head is going forward, there's a few assessments um, that you can do that personal trainers do um, in a way that show whether or not these muscles are weak or not. So push-pull test is what it's called. If anyone wants more information on that, it's super easy. I can send you a quick little video. You can let me know. Squeeze your shoulder blades and lift up. So you can do this, I'll show you over here against the wall so you can go down and lift up and squeeze down and this actually gives you really good feedback because as soon as I started doing it you know what I just noticed my head is not touching the wall you know what that means I've got some work to do on my posture so tuck my chin press my head back I know that my head is in line with the wall and I actually have to do a lot of work here to be in this optimal posture. And the cool thing about the wall is that it doesn't lie. <laughs> it shows me whether or not my ears are in line with my shoulders, like ideal posture. You can also do this lying down on a foam roller or a yoga block in between the shoulder blades with your arms out in a cactus shape. Yay, I'll definitely send you that video. Send me a message on Instagram and I will send you that little postural assessment to see how much work you need to do. Beautiful. To make this even more challenging, you can imagine that I am uh, lying down on the floor in a Superman position. So imagine that I'm lying down on the floor and you can do anti-gravity. And even just doing this, I'm not lying down on the floor, but this position with gravity actually makes it a lot more challenging. And I can even tell when my arms go forward these muscles here, these lat muscles feel tight. And you know what that means, we get to stretch them. So for this next little bit, I'll show you all you need is a door frame. So like I said, these muscles get lengthened, we need to shorten and strengthen. These muscles get tight and rounded, so we have to create space. So the first thing we can do is bring our hands into the door frame, tuck your chin, and press forward. This door frame happens to be perfect because it's nice and narrow, which means it's a super deep stretch in my chest muscles, and it's telling me that my posture needs this. <laughs> Same thing here. Notice if you're splaying your ribs out and overarching your back like this, see if you can draw in your ribs and actually engage your glutes. So just like I said, there's upper cross syndrome, there's also lower cross syndrome, and one thing I wanna show you is that if you're sitting down too long, not only are you hunched forward, but your glutes are, guess what, lengthened, just like your upper back. 
and your hip flexors, these muscles here, are actually shortened. So what does that mean? If you sit down for too long, you'll get a flat butt, which we don't want, right? So there's a lot of things that you can do for glute engagement. Um, one thing that you can do, imagine that there's a chair here, is you can squat down, your butt touches the chair, and then you squeeze up. So these are called box squats. The reason why they're better is because they ensure that your knees are right over your ankles, and you go back just far enough that they get like the under butt and the lower part of the abs. So you can kind of feel, maybe you place your hands here to tune into that mind-body connection. You press, press, press all the way back, either butt touching a wall or a chair, and then reaching forward. And if that feels easy, you can step a little bit further forward and go back, 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 and then see if you can touch the wall or the chair. <clears throat> and notice how much core that is. A lot of the times when we're doing squats, we don't realize how much core it actually is. So continue doing a few more of those. It's an amazing little exercise just to get those glutes engaged. At the top of every squat, I always recommend squeezing your glutes for like one to three seconds. One more quick little tip of advice that I see people doing wrong all the time. So anytime you're doing squats or lunges or anything in that position, if your weight is in your toes, it's going to be more quads. And if your weight is in your heels, it's going to be more glutes. So to activate those glutes, yay, Adrian, you're the best coach ever. You guys are amazing. I love you guys. Yes, all the helpful information. Woohoo! Yes, squeezing those glutes. Beautiful. And tucking the pelvis as well. What happens when a lot of us sit down in a postural position that isn't helpful for us is that we get this overarching curve in our low back. And then our abs are lengthened, so we need to shorten our abs and strengthen the lower portion, which those box squats get. Otherwise, we complain of back pain. We're like, oh, it feels like there's all this tension in between my low back vertebrae instead of allowing yourself that space to really contract. One more thing, a lot of the times in yoga, we're pressing down our back too much. And if we flatten the low back curve, then that's also bad. So you want it to be neutral. Neutral is just that slight curve in between the space of the low back. If you don't have a door frame, you can always stretch like this. Feels so good. So stretching and strengthening, you need both. Yoga alone isn't enough. Weightlifting isn't enough. So tell your yoga friends they need a lift. <laughs> tell your weightlifting friends they need a stretch. Both of it is the happy marriage of a healthy body. Cardio as well. Cardio strength, functional training. A lot of the times people go straight into weight loss. And the final little bit that I'll tell you is if you're in this time of quarantine and you're like, now's the time to work out and you're just going to Google like best exercises for fat loss, you may want to recheck because I always recommend that people do at least four to six weeks of um, this kind of functional training where you're actually strengthening everything then preparing yourself to move because if someone's overweight and they have extra you know body weight and then they're just going to go do a bunch of like jump squats then that's going to be actually more damaging over time and if your body's not prepared for it then you'll get injured which you don't want so there is a proven process you got to do your uh, foundational work then your strength then your fat loss phase and yeah hope that's helpful for you guys you guys are amazing so helpful that was amazing i was like whoo just those like little things against the wall just like did you feel it in your abs i i did i felt it in my back too like my lower back interesting yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. do you find um, you tend to overarch your low back i do okay that's probably I why do. yeah i've always had a little bit more a little bit more okay. while you're doing that exercise and then you'll feel it in the front Okay, cool. Yeah, I would definitely want to feel it in the front. <laughs> yes, totally. Oh my God, Adrian, that was so awesome. And you've got definitely some fans here that are saying, Adrian, you're the best coach ever. And all of yes, yes, she is. Yeah, you really are. That's really beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Is there anything else that you want to share with, with everyone out here? Uh, no, if anyone is watching and they want some inspiration, um, I would love to send you a copy of my book for free, Fit Through Love. So you can send me a message on Instagram and I'll send you a copy of my book. That'll get Yay. you. And her Instagram is Fit Through Love. All yeah. one. Yeah. So Fit Through Love. At, at Fit Through Love. Yes. 
Beautiful. Well, yay. Well, guess what? We get to pick an embody oracle. I picked one this morning before you this. Did? Oh, good. Yeah. That's so awesome. I love, it. I love this oracle card deck, except for the fact when I pick one for my boyfriend and it says sister, I have to change it. So oh, I'm, yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, brother. Yeah. You're like, soul brother. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. He's like, these are made for women. <laughs> I know. It's funny. When I wrote it, I was like, definitely for the divine feminine. And I know it's going to exclude some brothers in the house. And <laughs> it's also like, hey, I'm, we're talking to your divine feminine side for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Okay. So I'm going to shuffle these cards. I'm going to actually knock on them. Let's clear the cards and shuffle. And you tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay. And then I'm going to open these up and tell me when to stop. Stop. Pew. Ooh, soften, soften. Just don't soften your core, everybody, <laughs> when you're working out. Your heart, but not your core. <laughs> soften your heart, totally. That's so funny. I actually kind of like, you know when, you, when you're when you shuffling and you glimpse a card and then you yeah. end up picking up? I don't know if that happens to you, but I just saw her in the deck and I haven't actually chosen. I've her before. Yeah, I haven't chosen her actually yet at all. So yay. Wow. Since I've had the deck printed, so it's kind of exciting. Mm -hmm. All right, number 12. Soften is number 12 out of 44 cards. And it's under the pleasure pillar. There's four pillars, um, 11 cards in each pillar. So soften, be vulnerable, and share yourself. Beauty, sometimes we build walls around ourselves to feel safe, or we become resistant to others' feedback and suggestions. It's time to let the walls dissolve. You are safe and you don't have to pretend that you don't need love. You do. We all do. Human existence is all about connection, connection with yourself, your family, community, and all living beings. What you have, what have you been afraid of? What has caused you to shut down in your relationships? If you are in a romantic relationship, be vulnerable and be willing to soften and open up by cuddling up and sharing something that you've been scared uh, about sharing. This is where intimacy will blossom. Watch what shifts in your life when you know that you are safe and loved. Allow those hardened, protective, controlling shells to recycle and return to the earth. Compost them into potent fertilizer for who you are on the inside. You are safe to be vulnerable and gentle with yourself, life, and others. Vulnerability is your greatest power and strength. You know, what's so interesting, Adrian, is like as I'm reading this, I am I was reading it in the like building of our strength and then allowing our inner selves because we're not in this constant like building up of these walls when our body is strong, when our body is open and, and also when you're stretching. Oh, DTO has like video of me doing the exercises and watching. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. But truly, it's like you get to then soften your inner self and be in connection. And you talk about relationship a lot. So I love I love this card for us today. What are you getting? Do you get do you want to share anything of your getting what you're getting from our card today? Uh, I just see it as allow my heart to shine through and uh, communicate. Yeah, okay. communicate with. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love it. Well, you are so beautiful. Thank you for sharing your coaching, your leadership, um, your, your exercises and your commitment to us all being in our healthy, vibrant, balanced selves. Thank you so much, Adrian. Thank you so much for having me on. So much fun. Yeah. All right, everyone. Let, let's blast Adrian with so much gratitude for sharing with us today and blast yourself with gratitude also and blast DTO with gratitude. DTO is holding it down. Do a little peekaboo. There we go. <laughs> That's great. So thank you for being with us and sisters in the house. If you are being called to rise into your shifted selves, come and join us for Body, sister circle. 
uh, yeah, come and be with us today. It's a gathering. We come together and you are all able to be witnessed. Uh, no matter how many sisters we have on, we will be able to have you a part of the collective. Uh, there's, if you're coming onto the Zoom, uh, then you'll be on video. That's our only ask. And if you don't want to be on video, you can be, uh, we're going to attempt to do live stream in our group. It doesn't always work because there's so much live streaming going on. Uh, so we will hopefully be able to go live today in our group. But regardless, come and be with us. Be seen, be heard, be witnessed, and be in the shift. The commitment for you rising up right now as we are all rising up into whew, our greatest. All right, blasting you off. We are in body Freedom Series. Mm, I'm Himalaya and loving you all. See you soon. We're here Monday to Friday, by the way. Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. Pacific Coast time, 11 a.m. East Coast time in the U.S., in Canada, North America. See you soon. Woo!